Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. And today we're going to be reviewing, let me scoot in here, we're going to be reviewing Dark, Ho Dark Horse Brewing Company's 4, Smoked Imperial Stout. Um, not quite sure of the ABV on this, they didn't have it listed at the website. Um, Beer Advocate and Rate Beer has it at 8% uh, ABV. Uh, the IBUs varied depending on uh, the different sites. I could usually find this information by bouncing around several different sites. Um, couldn't find it. It varied anywhere from, uh, I think it was 55 to 75 IBUs. So it might vary from uh, year to year. Um, this is this is their fourth in a, their Imperial series. They've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, can't remember all the names of them and what they are. I, I would know all that stuff, but my internet went down. That's probably part, part of the reason why I couldn't find uh, the IBUs. If I would have had a few more minutes of research, I probably would have found uh, a better reference point for the IBUs. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and crack into this. Um, probably should have did a beer I have more information on, but what the heck. I really want an Imperial Stout. It's windy and cold outside. I mean, it's June. What in the world's going on? Oh, well. Go ahead and crack into it. Wow, extremely black. There's a little bit of tinging of dark brown around the edges. Holy moly. Uh, very, very dark brown head. Um, tight bubbles on it. Um, Absolutely no light getting through. I see none of that dark brown around the edges, like in the pour. Let's go ahead and get a nose on it. Oh yeah, I got definitely got that smoke uh, coming through. Just slight hints of alcohol. Maybe just a little bit of chocolate coming through. Really can't get. Um, much else past that that smokiness there there is a little bit of um there's some sweetness coming a little bit of sweetness coming through now that i've swirled it some let's go ahead and get a taste on it cheers Oh yeah. Definitely get some smokiness in there. It's not overpowering like a like a a, a rock beer or Roush beer, however it's pronounced. Um, definitely nice smokiness in there. Um, there's some dark chocolate in there. A little bit of coffee with some coffee bitterness. Um, getting really no, really no hoppiness in this whatsoever. So. I would think this is uh, on the lower IBU scale, although stouts and imperial stouts and, and porters tend to hide that IBU. I mean, you can have a, an imperial stout coming in at well over 100 IBUs, but usually the the, <clears throat> the leftover sugars that, that are in the beer from the fermentation, because um, you need huge amounts of malt um, to get that ABV up there. There's usually a lot of sugars left over that didn't ferment. Um, that, that tends to cut the uh, the bitterness quite a bit. Man. Um, definitely get a little bit of sweetness in there. Um, it's not. It's more of a dark chocolate flavor, but it's not a bitter dark chocolate flavor. Um, the mouth feels a little thin on it. Um, very, very good. Um, ooh, wow. That smokiness and that dark chocolate is really, really dancing around on my tongue. Yeah, that, that slight bitterness that is there, it's more of a coffee bitterness. Um, not hoppy at all. Um, 
So I would definitely think a much lower IBUs, probably 50 or 60. Yeah, a little bit of sweet maltiness in there. There, there is a little bit of um, carbonation on the tongue. Um, really don't see much streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Um, really good Imperial Stout. Um, I think this is it. this is the only the uh, second beer I've ever had from Dark Horse. Um, the first was their Scotty Karate Scotch Ale, which I thought was really good. Um, this being an Imperial Stout, um, it's going to score much higher in my book because I love Imperial Stouts. Um, uh, but I've scored Imperial Stouts very low in the past. Um, so that's... Uh, so I definitely scored on, on taste more than anything. Um, and it... Um, it's more of a, you don't get any of that alcohol in there at all. Um, I really, I'm really not feeling any of it. Um, Cause I, I'm doing an experiment. It's been about two hours since I've eaten anything. So if it was a higher ABV, I, I would be feeling it right now. So I'm, I'm thinking around 8% ABV was, was correct from what I saw from Rate Beer and Beer Advocate. Um, The smokiness is really, really nice. It complements those roasted toasted malts, or the, those roasted malts. Um, like I said, it dances around and it's playing real well with that dark chocolate in there. There's just a hint of sweetness. There's no alcohol in the in the taste whatsoever. Um, I don't even feel any warming in the back of the throat or the chest. Because um, usually around that 8% ABV mark is when you start to feel that, uh, that warming in the chest. Um, this is a, so that's about the same ABV as the um, Heavy Seas Peg Leg Imperial Stout, but this has got more, much more of a roasty toasty flavor to it. Um, not as, not as strong as a, as more um, higher ABV Imperial Stouts tend to be. They tend to be a lot, um, have a lot more of that roasted malt character, a lot more of the coffee notes in it. Um, well, I guess it really depends on if it's, if the brewer's going for more of a chocolate Imperial Stout or more of a coffee Imperial Stout like they do nowadays. Um, very few brewers do more of a traditional um, hoppy Imperial Stout. Uh, they, they tend to gear or steer the beer either towards chocolate or coffee or or they do a nice mingling of the two with and they tone down the hops a little bit um, now since I'm a huge fan of Imperial Stouts and I'm a fan of smoked um, a peat smoked malts uh, in beers and because and simply because this is just an outrageous tasting beer um, but it's on the mild side. It's not going to blow your head off like, whoa, you know, and just kill your taste buds from the smokiness or from the coffee bitterness or anything like that. Um, I think this is a really, really solid beer. Um, the mouthfeel is a little thin on it. I, I, I tend to like thicker Imperial Stouts. Um, so I'm going to dock at points for that. Um, Overall, the drinkability, because it does seem to be a lower ABV beer, um, like I said, I think the rate, uh, I think rate beer and beer advocate was correct in that 8% ABV. I'm going to give this a, um, I'm going to give this a 6, be a, uh, about a B on the scale of 1 to 10. Um, I think that's correct. <laughs> yeah, a 6 would be a B. Um, uh, it's got a 1 to 10. Um, but hey, if you see it, uh, I don't think it's around. I think this came out in January. Um, but next year, if you see it, check it out. I highly recommend it. Let's get one more nose on it, see if anything changed. It's Because it's been sent out for about 20 minutes before I started the review. Ooh, some of that smokiness has subsided a little bit. 
now I'm able to swirl a little bit better because the glass isn't as full. I'm getting a lot more um, uh, sweet and dark chocolate in the nose. Oh yeah, that, that sweet and dark chocolate is coming out a lot more now that it's warmed up a little bit more. And it's actually, um, it's actually starting to beat out the uh, smokiness in it. Um, but hey, six, the six still stands um, out of ten. So hey, till next time, cheers. I'm not chugging this. This is a good beer, so I'm going to savor it for a few more minutes. Thanks again for watching.